Today we're going over my entire Air Jordan 1 collection. We got over 80 pairs of shoes to get through, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. And that is the Game Royal Air Jordan 1 Low Retro. Now this one in particular is the only Retro 1 Low that I have left in my collection. And I got these from a subscriber, so I can't get rid of them. Also make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video so you can watch my dad pick out his top 5 favorite sneakers from my Air Jordan 1 collection. Next up we have the White Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1 Low 85 cut, and I was so excited to add these to my collection this is something that we don't see too often and with them bringing back more nostalgia with all these og cuts i knew i had to add these plus i can't wait to grab the white navy colorway coming out this year as well and the reason why i love those so much is because i have the neutral gray air jordan one lows that came out back in 2021 i love this shoe oh my gosh i love this shoe that's all i can say these things have been to hell and back they're dirty then i cleaned them up again and they got dirty again and i cleaned them up again and I'm waiting on the cycle of life to go through with these so then I can bust out my dead stock pair because you know I had to double up on these. Everybody remembers the times when these came out. Two amazing sneakers. So yes, I have a dead stock pair as well sitting on ice. Y'all know me, every time I see a shoe that I love and especially rock often, I gotta double up. Sometimes even triple up. Now right here we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Dornbecker OG cut. And y'all know I love the Dornbecker collection and the stories behind all the shoes. The details on these things are amazing and I already made a review on on these so make sure you guys check out the link down below in the description if you haven't heard of them before oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! now another shoe that is heavy in my rotation i mean often the mystic navy air jordan one low og i love this sneaker it's hard to mess up all you gotta do is clean the midsole i done got these dusty and crusty before clean them up real quick and they've been back to life just like that so for me another great sneaker for the rotation and another addition for honestly wearing any time around the year speaking of easy to wear sneakers i got the black toe air jordan one lows that came out as well i love this shoe and i'm sure most of you guys saw i actually doubled up on this shoe so i still have a desktop pair sitting on ice because when i got these literally that same day i got these in the mail i was on my way to the airport i put these on i didn't even have a chance to lace them up yet i was walking through the airport without the shoes even tied up i was excited to get these and i immediately put them on foot and i've been rocking these a lot lately all right now before we go to the next shoe let me give you guys a quick disclaimer every video from the years in the past i've done i have all those linked down below in the description 2022 2021 2020 maybe 2019 i think i did one then either way they'll all be linked down below so you guys can see the growth of my collection over the years when it comes to the jordan ones and then for every single sneaker in this video it'll be listed down below and if i have a youtube review of those i'll have the story or review or how i picked them up or whatever the video is based around that shoe it'll be linked to it as well so that'll have all the information that you guys need so with all that being said let's take it to the next shoe we have the black cement air jordan one low og and i actually just got these like two days ago i had been looking for these for a while i know it wasn't like a crazy hard shoe to get but i just didn't want to like pay resale for them and when it comes to my size being a 13 they were kind of hard to get they like sold out pretty quick so for me i saw these they were on sale i got them with a discount and i spent up just over 100 bucks on the shoe i was out there in miami and i could not pass it up so another great addition to the collection and i'm definitely going to be rocking these very very soon now one shoe that i think i might have worn potentially the most in 2023 and that is the black phantom travis scott air jordan one low it's hard to fail when it comes to this shoe literally can wear these with anything i know you got the suede and everything but honestly i don't wear these in the rain and the dirt everything like it's easy to just clean up it's, it's not that much work and before i wore these actually i made sure that i doubled up so i have a dead stock pair still sitting on ice because i had a strong feeling I was gonna be rocking these and they were kind of cheap at the time like when they first came out i see prices are going up a little bit now but even for me being a size 13 like you could find them around four or five six hundred bucks but for a travis scott low in particular i think that was a solid price so i immediately had to double up as soon as i found two good deals next up right here we have the travis scott air jordan one low fragment collaboration great shoe i ended up getting these off a of sneakers app shout out to my wife a retail cop cannot be mad at that i'm not sure when i'm gonna wear these just yet i feel like when they came out i saw like everybody rocking them and again i saw a lot of people rocking the black phantoms but for some reason with this one in particular it just was like kind of throwing me off so i'm letting them sit on ice for a little bit and then i'm gonna pull them out and then I'm gonna rock them. And then everybody else's pair is gonna be beat up and I'm gonna have a fresh crispy pair. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, that's just kind of how I do it sometimes. Now this next one is like the lowest on my list when it comes to the Travis Lowe's and that is the reverse mocha 
Air Jordan 1 low. Now this one, again, a lot of people is gonna be like, bro, you're tripping, I love the shoe. I like the shoe too, don't get me wrong, but if I were to rank them, this one would be my least favorite of the bunch. That's all I'm saying. Now one of the shoes that is my favorite, the OG Mocha Low. I love this shoe. I'm sure you guys saw the video back in the day. I got these for like 300 bucks and then the prices like went crazy and now they're all expensive and everything. But I love this shoe, great sneaker. And I know it's crazy. I haven't worn them yet. I, for some reason, I've been just like, I don't know, it's something about the OG. Like I wanna get a used pair and have a double up on this one in particular because once I start rocking them, oh, I'm gonna be rocking them. So I'm like, just been patient over the years trying to find a used pair, but I don't know. I feel like it's been too many years now at this point. I low-key might have to bust these out in 2024. Next up right here, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Howard University. I added these into my collection last year as well. I've been rocking these, I love these. It's like a great, you know, Chicago low colorway, but a little bit of twist with a high elevated, you know, materials and premium aspect to the shoe, the sock liner, everything. I don't know if I've done a review on these yet. If not, I'll make sure I get one out to you guys very, very soon. But again, very beautiful shoe. I love this sneaker. And uh, yeah, the gum bottom too. You can never go wrong with that. And speaking of the gum bottom, the Florida Gators also came with the gum bottom on them. These are the two that I have from the pack so far. So I have Florida Gators and Howard. I really wanna get Michigan. I, I'm thinking about grabbing UNC next. That might be the next one to the collection, but I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of all of them. But again, we'll see what happens. You know, I just grab random shoes throughout the year when I see a good deal that comes my way. Now this one I've worn before. I've actually worn probably like three or four times. And I like these a lot as well. Again, wear them for special events, special occasions, nice materials. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. So that's gonna do it for all my low tops. Now let's get into all the mids and KOs and special versions like that. And then we'll get into the high tops. First up, we have my Turn and Burnt Air Jordan 1 Low New Loves. I have had these since they came out. They're dusty and crusty. I love them. I had to change the insoles out, all the different things. And at the end of the day, I still be rocking these on some random occasions, on some rainy days or whatever it might be in the summertime if I'm going somewhere and I know it's going to be dirty. I love this shoe. They're comfortable. There's love for mids still, at least for me. I just like the older mids. I'm not a fan of the newer mids. I don't like the materials and the cut and how long the tongue is. There's so many different reasons why I don't like the mids. We've had a conversation about that in the past. But either way, I still do like Air Jordan 1 mids. And Michael Jordan wore mids. Stop hating on the mids, y'all. Now y'all know, if I have a dusty, crusty pair, that means what? I got a fresh pair as well. Now this one isn't dead stock because, again, I like to wear this shoe. But this one is very, very clean and I'm happy to have these in my collection still i still got the packaging and the box and and the little paper and all this stuff and speaking of that i feel like i should do a review on this package because i have the old loves and the new loves in that same pack and i feel like not that many people know about the nostalgia behind it and the box and all the little trinkets that come along with the shoe that make this so iconic. Okay, last up when it comes to the mids, we have the Air Jordan 1 Alpha, also known as the UNC. These came out back in the day when I was in high school and I ended up adding them back to my collection like, I don't know, that was like five years ago or something like that. And I don't know about you, but I still like these, bro. I be rocking them every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Lightweight in the rotation. I think this is a great shoe, very nostalgic, a lot of memories for people. It's funny because people are like, it's nostalgic, it's from 2007. I'm like, yeah, bro, at the end of the day, it's a word that's kind of used for that era. Either way, it brings back a lot of memories, and I'm sure a lot of my sneaker heads that were collecting in the mid-2000 era right there, you guys all remember this time. The mids were hot, bro. Like, nobody wanted OG highs. Honestly, there wasn't even, like, an OG high thing. It was, like, a retro high thing that came later, but... Everybody loved the mids back then. And another shoe that everybody loved, the Chicago AJKOs. Now these ones had a different shape to them. They had the modern day OG Air Jordan 1 outsole to them, different shape on the upper and everything. I really, really liked this shoe back then. I had multiple colorways, but I knew this one in particular was the one that I wanted to keep in my collection. And I actually had to get these back because I got rid of them originally. And I was like, bro, I missed those, I need those. So I ended up getting these back some years ago as well. Great shoe. I'm excited to still have these in my collection. And this time, they're not going nowhere. And because I love those so much, when I saw that they were coming out with the retro of the OG cut and how they did it, I had to add these to my collection as well. And honestly, 
they did an amazing job on this sneaker when it comes to the ko's and the cuts and all the different years that they've done the retros this is one of the best ones out there and i feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this shoe but again i know this is more of a niche audience when it comes to air jordan ones in particular but for me i love them next up we have the celtics air jordan ones and no this is not the new retro this is the version from 2009 from the pack y'all remember those times when they did the bulls and the celtics ones oh my gosh this was a great time again packages and the era and the nostalgia of that time like it was just fun but the one thing and i don't think too many people cared about it at the time but that was the jump man's on the back and the jump man's on the tongue everybody wanted the nike air and shortly after that a few years later we started to see the air jordan one high og with the nike air on the tongue and the different cuts and everybody really started to fall in love then now continuing on with the retro air jordan one high cut sneakers we also had these and i got these in the pack the ones in 22s y'all remember the 22s nobody wanted those and people like halfway even wanted the ones this pack came out and it didn't even like sell out like you could go cop it a week later at the mall like nobody was really going crazy for it now me i was collecting an entire pack of all the countdown packs so i literally had every single model of every single shoe of all the packs and everything so for me it was a high priority but i wear this shoe a lot over the years and now that they got all these different versions i've been slowly kind of you know tapering off with wearing them but i you know the 85 cuts we'll talk about that in a minute this is another great shoe at the end of the day that i've i got these back in 2008 i still have them to this day i feel like they're still pretty clean i took care of them i definitely got them a little dirty one time but for the most part well taken care of sneaker great colorway easy to wear with a lot of different things and i don't see these going anywhere anytime soon and also the laces on these for some reason are really really nice random i know but it's just a cool little detail now right here we have the air jordan one high og but this one's a little bit different this is actually a zoom outsole but you look on the bottom and you can't tell if you take this shoe apart you'll notice that there's a full zoom unit throughout the entire foot and this is one of the first prototypes that they ever created when they were working on making the zoom air jordan one sneakers so for me to have the opportunity to get this sample and add these to my collection i could not pass it up i was so grateful to get these and again another beautiful shoe because they did an amazing job when it comes to the materials on this shoe it's actually funny because most of these kind of like prototypes type samples when they do these things they do great materials and then you just black out the shoe and then you have this version that's just like murdered out with nice stuff so for me i really really love these i just thought about it i haven't made a review on these so if you guys want to see that let me know down below in the comment section but again first ever prototype zoom air jordan ones and before we go to the high ogs i just thought about it i have another sample the retro air jordan one high we actually got these at my school and the coaches player staff got these and i was like i need these i need these i need these i couldn't get them at the time and then i finally got them years later these ones got the jump man on the back the jump man on the tongue all royal blue patent leather very very clean kind of similar to the dover street market vibe y'all remember those back in the day but a little bit different as well and then obviously the material is just all blue patent leather all throughout the sneaker i think they did a really amazing job on this sneaker a different sample a nice addition to the collection really hits home and again another shoe that i'd never plan on getting rid of i've gotten offered a ton of money for this sneaker but i just couldn't do it next up right here we have the east side golf air jordan one high the black and green colorway a beautiful shoe the materials and execution and the collaboration was really really dope i love the packaging on this sneaker as well and then the outsole some people you see are actually just rocking these in the streets i don't think i actually plan on rocking them in the streets but i do want to go golfing in them and kind of test them out so i just got these like i don't know three weeks ago or something like that but again beautiful shoe i also grabbed the air jordan six lows those were amazing as well but that, again we're, we're staying on topic with the jordan ones so y'all heard me talking about it earlier and i got the 85 cut air jordan one highs these came out at all-star weekend i want to say that was last year 2023 right and i had the opportunity to get these and i could not pass up on the shoe so again beautiful sneaker the materials the comfort of this shoe i know it looks like they're dead stock and everything but i actually did try these on walk around in the house and i was like oh yeah this is another shoe I need to double up on because these things are actually pretty solid. Now, some of them you got to break in and the materials and everything, different things like that. We'll talk about that later. But I think this one in particular is one of my favorites when it comes to the materials and the feel of the sneaker overall on foot as well. Now, going completely opposite when it comes to the feel and the materials, the neutral gray Air Jordan 1 high 85 cut. These ones in particular are stiff 
they don't feel good i tried these ones on i actually had two pairs of these and i was like you know what i'm gonna just get rid of the other ones and keep one and kind of just collect the 85 set especially having the nostalgic og colorway i feel like i couldn't go wrong and i just you know i had to keep them in the collection next up right here we have the new beginnings air jordan 1 high 85 and I got the airship still. I got the whole pack, everything like that. I'm excited to have these in my collection. I got these back. That was the other All-Star Weekend. What was that? That was a few years ago. Either way, great shoe. I love these. Is it my favorite out of the 85s? Right now, might be top three. I feel like these are probably in my top three when it comes to the 85 cut Air Jordan 1s. Let me know what you guys' top three are for the 85 cuts. Now, this one is for sure in my top three, and that's the Georgetown 85 ones added these to my collection i think two years ago something like that either way i like this shoe a lot pretty stiff but at the same time they say you got to break it in and everything like that i'm kind of like on the fence though on where i want to go with my 85 ones i still need to complete this set first i want to have an entire set dead stock and i got some type of feeling that's like 20 years from now these things are going to be worth a ton of money so i'm kind of like low-key thinking about doubling up on this set and then i'm gonna rock the second pairs that i have which again whole nother topic at the end of the day i still need the reverse breads bro how do i not have them i don't know size 13 if you got a pair dead stock let me know i need it and before we take it to the next shoe we got to talk about sneaker throne real quick they have multiple options when it comes to durable and high quality display cases one of my personal favorites is the drop side display case i'm a size 13 and i can easily fit my shoes inside of here and I have hundreds of these stacked throughout my rooms to display my sneakers when it comes to the cases in particular you have four different color options clear black white and red so if you're looking at grabbing one of these for yourself or for someone else make sure you guys check out sneakerthrone.com and don't forget to use the discount code dna show at check out for 10 percent off for all your orders all right here we go time for the high top ogs the basically majority of my air jordan 1 collection let's start with the first one the union air jordan 1 high now this is not again the black toe or the storm blues but you know i'll take what i can get we got the woven upper right here very interesting sneaker i love the materials again you guys saw my review and how i feel about the shoe at the end of the day they're still in my collection i'm not mad at it but again not my favorite shoe of all time or anything like that now one shoe that i like a little bit more than those okay maybe a lot a bit more than those the ama air jordan ones as you guys can see i'll be rocking these things and you know what that means i had to double up on this shoe I still got a desktop pair sitting on ice because I love these, man. I think I'm going to slowly beat these, you know, over the years, but it's going to take some time. And then maybe five years from now or something like that, I'll be able to pull out a fresh pair because when it comes to collabs and stuff like this, they're just a little bit more unique. They're not as made as often, different things like that. And years later, next thing you know, the shoe's hard to find and then the price goes crazy because of it. And then you're like, bro, I should have got it when they were cheaper. So for me on certain sneakers, I do kind of strategically buy multiple pairs just because of those reasons, because I'll be like, I don't want to have to pay more later and if anything the shoe goes up you know in value and i only wear these not too often i can still take this dead stock pair and trade them up to a different shoe or whatever it may be at the end of the day just making moves for the collection to help grow the collection in the ways that i want to and not have to spend top dollar on every single shoe that i get speaking of that i actually traded a good amount of shoes this year for different pe's like some of my jordan ones that you guys don't see in this video that you've seen in the past i've traded those for different PEs like the UNC fours or some of the PEs that you saw on my top 10 video that I made last week. All right, next up right here, we have the Taxi Air Jordan 1 High OG. I think this is a beautiful shoe. Now I had multiple pairs of the Pollen Air Jordan 1s, but I got rid of those because I like these more when it comes to the color blocking. I ended up just grabbing one pair. I'm gonna take my time when it comes to rocking this shoe, but I, I don't know, this might be a double up sneaker, but I feel like I'll be fine with just having one pair in the rotation. I don't feel like I'm gonna be wearing these every single day or multiple times throughout the month throughout the entire year or anything so i feel like i'm cool with one pair i like these a lot and you know i'm a ducks fan as well i'm a steelers fan it aligns with both of those different things so i'm probably gonna wear these to one of those football games in the near future and staying on that same topic with the ducks you know i had to get the celtic ones aka the lucky greens i think they did a great job on this shoe as well highly slept on underrated didn't really sell out nobody cared all the different things at the end of the day when they came out i had to have these in my collection i needed them asap and i got them and i'm happy to have these and again i'll wear these for the right occasion when i go to a ducks game basketball football you name it whatever i'm definitely gonna be rocking these next up right here 
First things first, RIP Gina. She passed away in 2023. She was a legend in the community. She had a great collaboration. I'm getting chills just thinking about it because I told the story about this shoe. This shoe means so much more than just a sneaker. And I love having shoes like this in my collection. I had the opportunity to meet her. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't have her shoes. And then the next year, I was like, I gotta get her shoes because I actually met her in person. And I already wanted the shoes. At the end of the day, I got the shoes in my collection. Shout out to her. She's an amazing woman. She's done a lot in the community. RIP SP Gina. These are the SP Gina Air Jordan 1s. Beautiful sneaker, beautiful details, beautiful story, the lunchbox, all the different things. You can never go wrong with this shoe. And I know a lot of people that are collectors right now that have these in their collection. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This shoe hits different. All right, next up right here, we have the Black Metallic Gold Patent Leather Air Jordan 1 High. Now, I'm sure you're a lot of people, y'all was hating on these. And y'all might still be hating on these. Fine by me. I like this shoe. Y'all know I love patent leather Air Jordan 1s. I had the mid pack back in the day. Speaking of that, I just thought about it. We missed the mid. Here we go. The Chicago Air Jordan 1 mid. What was I thinking? This is a beautiful shoe right here, bruh. I got so many memories with these things. What year was this? 2003? Something like that. When did it? Yeah, 2003. Okay, like I said, I had these when I was a kid. And then when I got older and I got to high school, I bought the whole pack back. So I got the UNC patent leather white, the black and gold, and then these. These ones in particular just stayed in the best shape over the years and was my favorite of the three. And then, the, you know, the UNC ones, they start to yellow. They just, they don't look good. And then the black ones get all ashy looking. And I was like, I'm going to keep these just for the memory of those as well, because this shoe again is 20 years old. I had them when they originally came out and then I got them again back in like 2006. 2007 or something like that at the end of the day still got them my collection i wore these to one on to the billboard actually uh earlier this year i got a lot of memories in this shoe bro at the end of, that's just that's all i'm saying i got a lot of memories i love mids just certain ones though i don't like all the mids i don't i don't even like all the air jordan one highs again whole nother topic let's just keep let's get back to the regular schedule programming my bad i can't believe i almost forgot these i'm tripping now continuing on with the patent leather we have the jordan brand classic air jordan one high og black patent leather gold with the gold confetti on the bottom translucent outsole white on the midsole with the gold stitch you got the nike ear on the tongue with the all gold i've done a full review on these in the past if you guys want to see it again link down below in the description i love this shoe hello now y'all know if i got those two I gotta have these. The Gold Toe Air Jordan 1 High Patent Leather version. Now, I, the Unions, I liked them, but I only liked the version that looked like these. This version right here. So for me, when I saw that these were coming out, I was like, I have to have these. Like, I was kind of on the fence about the other ones and I wasn't really buying into the hype. I didn't want to pay that crazy price. And then I saw these just sitting and I'm like, yo, y'all are asleep. I don't know how much they're worth in current time. I used to have a couple pairs. Now I just got one that I rock every now and then. End of the day, great shoe. I love them. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. Now this next shoe I doubled up on. I wore for a while and I actually just got rid of my used pair a few months back. And I just have my dead stock pair left in my collection. I don't know. They kind of like, I grew out of them a little bit. Not like size, but just like love for rocking the shoe and i got other shoes that i like wearing now so for me i was like you know i'll keep my dead stock pair just in case if i decide to bust those out later but again just not one of my high on my totem pole type sneakers anymore now next up right here we have the travis scott mocha air jordan one high one of the ogs you know what i'm saying one of the hype starters when it comes to the travis scott's I have had multiple pairs of this shoe, used pairs, new pairs, got two pairs off of sneakers app for retail. This is one of them right here. Done some trading. I traded some for the Air Mags and different sneakers, but I, you know I had to keep one just off of, you know, nostalgia. I don't know if it's nostalgia. I, I, is that the right word? I feel like I'm not using it correctly. Either way, had to keep these in my collection. I know I've gotten rid of multiples, but you, you got to keep a fresh pair. That's all I'm saying. You got to keep one on ice at least. All right, now right here we have the J Balvin Air Jordan 1 High. Great shoe. I just, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to wear with this sneaker just yet. I like these though. I like how they push the boundaries, push the limits on the cuts around the outside, the materials on the upper, the colorway. Like they just did a really, really good job with this sneaker. 
I am, I'm a fan of them. I still have them in my collection. They've lasted the tell of time with me. Sometimes I grab a shoe. I'm like, hey, do I like it or not? And then I'll get rid of it some years later, make up my mind. I'd rather get it now before it's more expensive and then decide later if I want to get rid of it. And then, you know, if again, like I said, trade it or whatever, it might be worth more money, get something else in an equal value. At the end of the day, I still like these. I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon. I got the J Balvin 2s. I got the J Balvin 3s. The black 3s are fire. I want to complete this set and continue to collect more pairs from him. Now, this next shoe is amazing. I love these. Oh my gosh. Every time I rock these, I just, I don't know. I just feel th these things are fire. The Lely May Air Jordan 1s. I love the shadow ones. So for these, the premium cuts, the chenille patch on the side, the corduroy on the side, the satin on the toe and on the back end, the embroidery, just they did such a good job on this sneaker. Hard to find in my size, especially in a good condition or for a good price. So for me, again, when I got these back in the day, I was very, very happy to add them to my collection and I take care of them. They look, I got a couple things on them right here, but for the most part, I keep them clean, I rock them, I, you know, I ice them back out, put them back in the stacks, I make sure they're right because whew, this again, like remember I was talking about the unique sneakers, like you got to make sure that you have those type of things in the collection on point because they become a little bit harder to get years after they release. Now this next shoe, I was gassing up, oh my gosh, I was gassing these up and still to this day, I'm still gassing these things up. The Code Japan Tokyo Air Jordan 1 High Metallic Silver. These things are dope, bruh. Now, I know I had multiples, but now I just have one. But I love this shoe. I was gassing these up. I kind of low-key overspent when they first came out. You know, but at the end of the day, I still like them. I need to get the pair with the briefcase. Y'all remember those with the... Oh, yeah. I need to get those in my life. I had the mids back in the day. I wish I still had them, but that's why I still got these. I don't know. I'm just kind of lost for words. I think they did an amazing job on the sneaker. They look clean on foot. And uh, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people that can attest that have these shoes in their collection. I'm sure you guys enjoy rocking these as well. Now, one sneaker that I might not ever wear because I've worn it before technically, but not this one in particular. And that's the Dornbecker Mr. Booper Air Jordan 1. Got these from Tony, shout out to my dog. And I just like the meaning, the story, the collection, Dornbecker, everything, getting them personally from Boop. Like it just makes so much sense to like, this is like a trophy piece item for me in my collection. It hits all the way home. And that's why I love this shoe so much. And I haven't worn it again. I've worn this shoe, just not this pair in particular. I actually had three pairs. And now I just have one over the years. I've worn the other two. And actually, actually I have four pairs because I had a different dead stock pair. Either way, I got one left and I'm probably not going to ever wear these. If anything, I'll probably find a used pair, but they're like the material comes apart on the toe. If you wear this shoe over, you know, time with age. So for me, more of a display piece type of sneaker. Now this next one, I feel like there was a lot of hype, but not at the same time, but either way, like People were kind of let down when they saw the prices because they were very, very expensive and then they became very, very cheap. And for me, I still liked them. I wanted to have them in my collection and that's the Rebellion Air Air Jordan 1s. You got the Band X on the back. You got the different writing all throughout the front and you got the gray, like the shadow vibe, but it's like band. So I was like, you know, I like these a lot. I think it's a beautiful sneaker, something dope to have in the collection. And if you do want to add these to your collection now, they're gonna be at more of an affordable price. And who knows, maybe later down the line, they might go up and you'd be like, damn, remember when I got those for 220 bucks or 250 bucks or something like that? And the next thing you know, they're $600, like everybody was expecting them to be. Sometimes it takes time, but I think as more people start to wear this sneaker and beat them up over the years, they might be worth a lot of money. I don't know, we'll see. At the end of the day, I got my pair. I do plan on rocking these, I don't know when. I feel like I gotta find like some type of cool fit to go with these. That's a whole nother topic. Let's just take it to the next shoe. All right, right here we have this Storm Blue Air Jordan 1 High. Bruh, y'all was sleeping on these back in the day. Remember when these were at outlets? And everybody wanted them, 80 bucks, different stuff like that. Now look, I got these for like 120 bucks. Now look at the prices, crazy, bruh. I try to tell people all the time, if it's an OG colorway, don't pass on it. If you like it like that, like get it because they gonna go up. Like it's hard to beat OG colorways. When they make these in an 85 cut, oh, people are going to go crazy. I already know it because the resale prices on these are stupid. And speaking of that, prime example, 
Obsidian ones. Remember when these came out? Nobody wanted them. They were selling for under retail. And then later what happened? I think it was TikTok's fault. Either way, everybody was going crazy for this shoe like four years ago or something like that. Prices are still pretty high. At the end of the day, they probably dropped a little bit with the market, you name everything. I don't know. But I like these. I think it's a great addition to the collection. The materials are fire. I think they did a great job on this shoe. I don't know when I plan on wearing these just yet, but either way, I know for a fact I'm keeping these in my collection. I like these a lot. Another shoe that I like a lot, the UNC Air Jordan 1s. I think they did a great job on this shoe. Materials are fire. I actually did wear these. I know it doesn't look like it, but these are very, very clean. Great shoe. And uh, I like what they did. I remember when the hype was insane uh, for this sneaker. I actually made it a video getting these, uh, I think at SneakerCon Dallas or something like that. And then a week later, I found another pair for a good deal. I had two pair in my collection. I was like, I'm gonna just keep the used pair and get rid of the new pair because they were freaking expensive at the time. And I was like, yo, this is a good trade shoe. Sometimes, like I said, trade bait is good to have multiples. Now this next one was a gift from Jordan Brand and I appreciate you guys as always. The Hyper Royal Air Jordan 1s. I think this is a great shoe. Again, I be rocking these every now and then. I try to keep them clean. Great for the summertime. I haven't worn them in the winter time yet but i'll be pulling them out every now and then i feel like i need to start posting like what i wear with this sneaker because some people are very interested with the materials on the upper and the faded and the different colors like what's the type of outfit to rock with this sneaker and when it comes to wearing sneakers this one i wore too much and i had to chill because the prices got crazy and i, I was like bro i'm not paying that insane price for another pair to get like another clean or a dead start pair and that is the unc air jordan ones Oh man, these things were turnt and burnt, but I brought them back to life and a great shoe for the collection as well. I love rocking these. I have multiple versions that are different variations of a UNC-esque or a UNC type sneaker. But again, you can never go wrong with the OG. It's hard to beat it. 85 cut? Bring it back, I'm definitely doubling up and I'm for sure rocking a pair soon as I get them. Now this shoe, I actually haven't had a chance to wear just yet because I had multiple dead stock pairs but for some reason, I just, I didn't find it in me to wear them just yet because at that time, everybody was rocking these and I just didn't feel like rocking them. So UNC Off-White Air Jordan 1, I traded, it's crazy. <laughs> I traded one of my pairs for this camera that I'm filming on right now. And I guarantee you this camera that you guys are looking at this video through has made me way more money than this one single pair of shoes. So for me, I thought it was a good investment, a good trade, especially saying that I got the pair for retail and then I was able to get a camera, which then turned into more content that you guys love to watch and I get to make money from it and all different things. Overall, it was a good business decision. Now, the second pair, I traded those for my Air Max and then these ones right here, I had to keep as well. I actually got the exclusive access on sneakers app and got these ones for retail as well so for me couldn't pass up on it it made sense and i feel like it was a better story to keep this pair in particular i do need to find a used pair so i can rock these but it's like either they're like cooked or they're like brand new and there's like no in between but the crazy part is like the cooked pairs are expensive and i'm not paying that for some beat up yellowed out dirty crusty musty somebody else then took them around the world and back air jordan one high still give you fifteen hundred dollars for yeah right bro it's not happening so for me i got my dead stock pair maybe i might just have to wear these but one day if i find a used pair that's clean for a good price or a good trade i'm definitely adding them to my collection if you guys made it this far into the video and you are enjoying it make sure you guys hit that like button it really helps out the channel and also subscribe if you haven't already i enjoy seeing new people here on the channel every single day drop a comment show some love especially if you're new drop a comment so i can hit you guys back and welcome you to the dna fam all right let's get to the next shoe we have the unc to chicago air jordan one high in the women's colorway now this one in particular is crazy nice People slept on these, bruh. I remember when these came out, barely going over retail. Now, for me, harder size to get. You know, I'm a 13, so there's a 14 and a half. I still got them. I paid like $25 or $20 over retail. I don't know. I don't think it was too much that I spent over. I don't know. Maybe it's a hot take. Maybe it's not. The women's colorways, they come correct when it comes to materials compared to the men's shoes. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. Now, continuing on with the UNC to Chicago vibes, we got the patent leather Air Jordan 1, and this was the men's version. Now, again, like I said, I love the patent leather with the Chicago. I love patent leather shoes. Y'all know I love them UNC ones. 
it just made sense. I actually had multiples of these and I was like, I don't even need multiples because the colorway is kind of interesting. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna wear these, but I do wanna have one pair of my collection. But at the end of the day, this is a solid shoe. When it comes to my patent leather sneakers, honestly, I feel like this ranks like kind of right in the middle of my patent leather sneakers. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. All right, right here we have the top three Air Jordan 1s. This was a shoe that I was kind of like on the fence, but I was glad I got them. And again, not my favorite shoe of all time or anything like that. But I love how they took my favorite sneakers and put it into this shoe, which caused me to like the shoe just a little bit more. And then I actually, you know, I had to make my mind up if I wanted to keep them. But I'm at this point, I'm, I'm bought in. I'm like, I'm keeping these for the long haul. They're not going anywhere. But I think more of kind of like a, a display type sneaker, something for storytelling or something like that. So next up right here, we have a shoe that I think is slightly overpriced, but I get it. And that is the Travis Scott Fragment Air Jordan 1 High. Some people love it, some people hate it. I like the shoe. I don't think it's my favorite shoe when it comes to the Travis Scotts, but definitely a dope sneaker. It's a little bit harder with the all white, you know, with me being a size 13, the shoe is just large and in charge out there. Like it would be fire if it was a black and blue version, but either way, I still like the sneaker. Shout out to Soul Steels. Now, the reason why I talk about black and blue is because I got these Royal Ones <laughs> and these things are cooked, but that's okay, because I also have a dead stock pair sitting on ice still. And I know this isn't the new modern day retro. This is like what, 2012, 2013, something like that. But I doubled up back in the day and I've been cooking these, but they're not just there just yet. Like I keep cleaning them up and they keep coming back to life. So eventually these are gonna get pulled out. But these were, you know, reminiscent to more of like that early 2000s vibe when it comes to the cut, the materials and everything. And I wasn't too big of a fan of the, what retro is that, 2017 or something like that? I don't know, I liked them, but I just didn't really like them like that. But I did like them enough to add them to my collection still. Now, I don't know. And then this glitter effect, bro. I didn't clean this off like once a year and it just comes right back. You would think it would just be done by now. I feel like low key, it might be making it worse. I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys have this problem? Let me know. And people say, oh, wear are your shoes? Where are your shoes, bro? It'll happen even if you wear your shoes. It's still a thing that can happen. So it's not just if you wear your shoes. Like, it's just a natural thing. It's because of the leather, the materials, the finishes, the things that they did to create these shoes back in that time is what caused them to have the glitter on them. Now, I know that all sounds crazy and all, but one thing that's even crazier is I had four pairs of these, like, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and now I only got two, but <laughs> the Royal Reimagined Air Jordan 1s. Now, I like these. I do. That's the thing, like, y'all may seem like you thought I was hating on the shoe and everything. I like this shoe. It just wasn't in my top 10 pickups of the year. That was the only thing, like, as y'all see, I doubled up. I plan on rocking these this year. Like, I low-key about to lace these. I should rock these today, but I'm about, to, I'm about to rock these. That's what I'm saying. I like this shoe. I think it's definitely a dope switch up when it comes to the materials and everything like that, giving us, like I said, patent leathers and suede's and satins and different things compared to your normal traditional leather Air Jordan 1 that we get all the time. Just like the Reimagined 4s. We kind of see that new buck, the Durbuck, whatever you want to call it. The leather on the Reimagined Air Jordan 4s, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be undefeated, bro, because it's leather. It's hard to mess up. The suede on the other 4s, it's easier to mess up. You see what I'm saying? I feel like people might be hating on it right now, but they're gonna, it's going to grow on them. Watch. I, I guarantee it. We're getting way off topic right now. That was Jordan 4s. We're only supposed to be talking about Jordan 1s. Next shoe. We got the UNC Air Jordan 1 High OG. And this is actually the college PE. So on the tongue, you're going to see Nike Air on the right foot, UNC on the left foot. And then you have your crazy. You got the Croc with the Stingray on there. The Crack Distress Leather on the side. I've done a full review breaking this sneaker down. These things are beautiful. Let me just give you guys a quick, ooh wee. Oh my gosh. These things are nice. The entire set was made this way, but just to the school's colors. Actually, speaking of that, I have the other one right here. We have the Florida Gators Air Jordan 1s. Colorway is fire. They did a great job on this shoe. Not my favorite out of all the Jordan 1 college PEs for the high tops, but definitely worthy of being in the collection because I got the other Gators and I think that, I don't know, I think they're still dope. They're still clean and I got them for a good deal. You know, I couldn't pass it up. Now, one shoe that I can never pass up ever and low-key i'm kind of salty because i got rid of my dead stock pair they was expensive bro people they were selling for a lot i got them for retail but the shadow air jordan ones i need a 85 cut asap please and thank you this shoe is a tank 
You can wear this with anything. You can never go wrong rocking this shoe. That's all I'm saying. These might be one of, no. Ah, yeah, these are one of the top three Air Jordan 1 OG colorways of all time. I don't care what nobody say. Now this next shoe doesn't really go with everything, but it is just so clean because of the color blocking and what is Chicago color blocking. You got the Court Purple 2.0. This is a very, very beautiful shoe. I actually ended up tripling up on these. I'm sure you guys saw that back in the day, but now I just have one pair left in the collection. I don't know when I'm gonna rock these just yet, but I feel like at this point, I need to pull them out. You know, not that many people see this shoe too often. And a shoe that I see less people rocking, the Court Purple 1.0s. The toe on these is amazing. They did a great job when it comes to the materials. Uh-oh. We got a little bit of glitter right here on the swoosh. See, I told you, it just be happening. Just parts of the shoe. Sometimes they use different materials on different areas and it looks the same, but it really it's not. Different parts of the shoe be having different materials. Either way, I love these. And when it comes to the toe pack, actually, let's have the conversation right now. The toe pack, you got all the different colors, right? Basically, you could put the whole rainbow together. You got the red, the blue, the green, the, the, all the different stuff. I don't like the shattered backboards. I don't want to hear it in the comment section, but you don't have the shattered backboard. I've had multiple pairs of shattered backboards, all the different variations, the 1.0, the 2.0, the 3.0, the sample versions, I've had them all. I don't like them. It's okay. I don't need to have them in my collection. So. If I see you in the comment section talking about, but you don't have the shattered backboards, you're not a real sneakerhead. No, no, no. I buy what I like. I keep what I like. I own what I like. I rock what I like. I don't want those. I don't need them. Maybe if I get them literally to complete a photo one day, and then I might sell them and trade them, I'll probably be better off just borrowing them from somebody just to take a photo. But for the most part, I'm good. I've had my time. I've had my share. I even tried to wear a pair one time, and I was just like, I'm a Ducks fan, man. It's hard for me to rock the orange. All right, you guys. Sorry about the tangent, but, you know, I just always be hearing that. Either way, next shoe right here, we have the Chicago to LA or LA to Chicago. No, LA to Chicago, Chicago to LA. <laughs> Either way, we got the Nike SB. We don't see this too often. You know, you got the Lance Mountains. You got a couple of different versions and stuff. I don't have those, which I would like to have those, but I'm not really gassed up about them like that. This one, I do like a lot. I think they did a great job on this sneaker. And I like how it has like that red piping around it. When it turns to red, then you can see it all the way. But I like how it has that little accent to the shoe. Very dope details, very dope materials. You got the SB on the front instead of the Nike Air. If you got these in your collection, let me know down below in the comment section. Did you customize them? Did you wear them as is? What did you do? When it comes to sneakers like this and you have to like, you know, like distress it or whatever, again oh yeah now we can hear the comments about sbs you gotta skate it all this stuff i ain't skating it bro all right it's just not happening like i'll wear it and see what happens but it's just not going to distress it enough so i might have to kind of like customize it myself and you only got one shot and because of that i'm still leaving it a blank canvas because i don't want to mess them up at the same time like i don't want to try to customize it and then it just look bad like <laughs> so that's kind of why i'm like at the point where I just still keeping them on ice. Like I gotta figure out the perfect design to customize them or just find another used pair that's, you know, lightly worn and got a little bit of its own distressing. Okay, now this next shoe is the opposite of lightly worn. <laughs> and that is my bread Air Jordan ones. Again, this is like that 2013 area. You can see these things are turned and burnt, but it's okay. Cause I bring them back to life every single time. They're not even laced up all the way. Come on, man, I gotta get it together. These things are kind of dusty right now. Great looking shoe, classic, nostalgic, OG, top three, can't go wrong. You know all the classic statements. Actually, where's the other one at? There's another pair. I have. Where's my dead stock pair at? Haha! -ha! Here we go. Alright, so I have a dead stock pair right here, and then a used pair, real used pair right here. Same era, same thing. So when it comes to the Royals and when it comes to the breads, when these came out, I had to double up on. Like I said, classics, OGs. I always need multiples whenever I get a chance. I just, you can't go wrong. And again, the prices always go up. And then later you're like, damn, I could have got them for cheaper. So for me, same type of scenario. That way, when I decide to pull out a fresh pair years down the line, I'm going to have these sitting on ice. And staying on brand when it comes to the breads, we also have the band Air Jordan ones. Crazy to think that I had 22 pairs of these back in the day. Now I just got one. Again, storytelling camping out all the different things there's so many reasons why i love the shoe and then also why i had to keep these in my collection and yeah it's hard to keep i had multiples for a long time but the prices are just crazy bro like 
The fact that I got these for $109 and people are paying thousands for them, I'm like, I'm willing to trade some, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need to have seven of the same shoe. It's okay to trade them off later. So for me, it's kind of like, you know, again, using them for leverage and having different shoes to get that you don't have in your collection to be able to get them for an affordable price. Again, all part of the shoe game, all buying and selling and trading, hustling and flipping. We talk about it all the time. But yes, I was collecting during this time when these came out. I had been collecting many years before these had came out. So these are the perks, again, of being in the shoe game for a long time. And if you guys have been in the game for a couple years, you guys are going to be like this 5, 7, 10 years from now. You're going to be like, bro, I remember when I got those for cheap and then now they're hella expensive. That's a part of collecting. That's the dope part about it. You don't have to spend the crazy amount of money. And then your collection also goes up in value and then you can leverage that to buy properties or whatever it may be. Again, we talk about it all the time. Let's take it to the next shoe. And that is the reimagined. Is this the reimagined or is it what? I don't know. Either way, it's the patent bred Air Jordan 1s. I think this is a dope sneaker. I had a couple pairs. I low key. I <laughs> This is a pro. All right, hold on. Let me just. I, I'm going on tangents today. I had multiples of these. I was like, oh, I could trade a pair. Oh, I could trade a pair. And then I came home and I was like, wait a minute. I don't have any pairs left. <laughs> so I had to get a pair back in my collection. <laughs> Sometimes when you got too many shoes, you'd be like, oh, I think I got this. Yeah, I got that. And then you forget. And then you do some trades or whatever. And you're like, oh, I can get those back. And you forget that you did that. Those are things that also happen. So it, you got to kind of take inventory or whatever you like to call it and just keep track of everything. Because when you got shoes that aren't on display and they're still sitting in boxes or whatever it may be in multiple rooms and different things, it just, it gets confusing sometimes. So I added these back in my collection in 2023. I did it on the low, you know what I'm saying? I got rid of them, but I got them back. Now next up right here, we have the Bread Toe Air Jordan 1s. This shoe, when they came out, they weren't hitting like that. Like it wasn't crazy. And then... It was like people couldn't get the bread, so they just hyped these things up. And then other people were like, the colorway is better than the breads. So they hyped them up some more. And the next thing you know, this shoe was like very, very expensive. And I was really, really shocked. Had a couple pairs, traded some away, kept one on ice. Cause I was like, I love them, they're dope. I just don't know when I'm gonna wear them just yet. And now look at it, these things are crazy expensive. I'm like, bro, I can't even get a used pair for a good price anymore. So. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. And the reason why I say that is, is because I have these. I still rock my regular black toe Air Jordan ones. And I'm like, yeah, these are cool and all, but like, I like the OG colorway and I like rocking these more and they're not like beat up yet. So, you know, I take care of them, but at the same time, they are starting to get to that point. But I still rock these. So, you know, in time I'll pull these out, but these still gotta, you know, I gotta get my life left in these. We've gone through so many sneakers so far, bro. This is crazy. I got about 10 or 15 more sneakers left. So if you guys are enjoying this, again, hit that subscribe button, join the fam, and let's go ahead and take it to the next shoe. Also, when it comes to the toe blocking colorway of the bread toe or the black toe or whatever it may be, we have the Union Black Toe Air Jordan 1s. Now, you guys saw me talk about the other pair earlier in the video, but I actually do have these in my collection as well. I like the Storm Blues because I have the Storm Blues, but I'm not like too big of a fan of the union storm blues i don't know what it is i just like these ones more and i was like if i could only get one i would get these if i could get both i would get the other one but just i i just i couldn't justify the price on it bro those things are crazy expensive and it just wasn't it just wasn't adding up for me the math wasn't math and on that one in particular so i got these i love these great addition i traded a couple pairs of shoes for these back in the day i didn't get them for retail i actually traded what did i trade I think it was some rookie of the years, like two pair of rookie of the year ones for these at the time, like they were kind of hyped and these weren't, these weren't worth a thousand dollars yet. And, uh, it was something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what the trade was, but great addition. I love these. I would love to find a used pair because I think again, very unique shoe going to hold a lot of value. And because of that, uh, I want to get a used pair. I want to rock another pair, you know, one on ice, one to rock, one to stock type thing. This, I think, falls in that category, but I just haven't found a good used pair for a good price, especially with all the fakes rolling around now. You got to be really careful when it comes to this shoe, but they're pretty distinctive, though, between the two because the fakes, the materials aren't as good as these ones. And speaking of materials, before we take it to the next kind of Chicago color blocking style shoes, these things are nice. I talked about it earlier with the UNCs and the Florida Gators, but I have the Oklahoma Air Jordan ones as well. Nike Air on the one foot. Oklahoma on the other great shoe stingray croc you got the distressed leather they just oh man it's hard to pass up on these bro I got these for a good deal and again the bread the toe the bread toe color blocking the it's just 
you know what I'm saying? Like it hits so many different boxes, but it's like a elevated premium stance when it comes to the shoe. And now that I have these, they've been sitting in my collection for about a year, I'm giving it some time. I'm ready to start pulling these out and rocking them. I just don't know uh, where. Typically I wear a lot of this stuff to like sneaker con and different events like that, depending on throughout the year. But don't be surprised if you see these on my feet pretty soon. Now, next up right here, we have the Trophy Room Air Jordan 1s. Very, very controversial shoe. Shout out to Jordan Brand for allowing me to review these when they first came out. There was a lot of controversy around the boxes and the different things, yada yada, whoop de whoop. Appreciate y'all as always. But uh, got these in my collection. I had three pair, now I got one. Did some trades, did some different stuff. But I knew for a fact I was keeping at least one pair of these in my collection because Again, I had the opportunity to do it. They didn't give me a pair though. I get it. You know, it was a limited shoe. Hey, but next time, Jordan Brand, you know, <laughs> if y'all want to hook me up, just let me know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm here. Size 13. What's up? What to do? <laughs> but no, but on, on topic though, uh, a lot of memories behind the shoe. And I think for those reasons, I was like, you know what? I got to keep at least one of these in my collection. And again, you know, it's, it's going to hold a good value. And, and if I decide to trade it like I've done with the other pairs, then I might trade it and get something else in my collection. Now, these next ones, honestly, bro, I was surprised about the prices. I get it. It's not as good as the OG, but you got the Spider-Man Spider-Verse Air Jordan 1s. Now, before I talk about the shoe, have you seen the movie? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The movie was amazing. I think they did a great job. So... And, and then after you watch the movie, you'll see like how they incorporated this with the shoe and the movie and everything. And you're like, bro, this makes so much sense on the color block and everything. At the end of the day, great shoe, great materials, great addition to the collection, affordable price. I got these after they came out. I wasn't able to get them for retail, but I did pick them up for a pretty good price. And um, yeah, I like these a lot. I got these for my wife as well. She's like kind of on the fence, but I was like, look, let me just get them. I got them for retail for you. So, you know, you can make up your mind. If not, you could trade them away. Same thing. Her collection is pretty, bro, really? Y'all need to see her collection. Her collection has grown a lot over the past year. But okay, this is this one. Let's take it to the next one. And that is my turn and burn <laughs> 2015 Chicago ones. Y'all see the trend. If it's an OG colorway, I need multiples. Oh, damn, it kind of went right here at the bottom of the screen. So yes, I have multiples. I have a dead stock pair. I have a turn and burnt pair. These ones is crusty and musty. I need to clean them up. I will eventually. But right now, it's okay because... I got some other shoes that I'd be rocking, so they just kind of, you know, supplemented that a little bit. But I still got my 2015 pairs, and yes, I had these well before the Lost and Founds came out. And speaking of Lost and Founds, bro, what is up with all my shoes being unlaid? I'm really rocking these things. Uh, I have my pair right here. And originally, I was like, okay, I'm going to rock these. I'm going to take care of them. And then... I got a second pair for a really good price before the prices started to go up a little bit more. And soon as I got them, bro, I've been rocking these things. My goal is to beat these up worse than the other pair that you guys just saw. So that's my plan with these. It's crazy because honestly, when I look at them like this, they don't look too bad. I did clean the midsoles up one time, but I think I'm going to make a choice to never clean this shoe and just like rock them and see what happens over the year so that's kind of like my goal with this shoe and then yes i still have a dead stock pair sitting on ice but i i'm not gonna lie i think i need to triple up on this shoe before the prices get crazy yes they're expensive but i think that these are going to be worth a lot more later and when that happens i'm gonna be like damn i could have got those for four or five hundred bucks and now look at them they're twelve fifteen hundred two thousand dollars because it's a Chicago one, bro. Again, you've heard me say it multiple times. It's hard to fail with this shoe. You get a classic OG, get it when you can because the prices go up and then you're mad later and you're like, damn, I could have got it. So for me, yes, I got two, but I'm low key thinking about getting a third pair. All right, you guys, last but not least, the head honcho. I don't know if this is a head honcho, but either way, this is a fire shoe, bro. <laughs> the Off-White Chicago Air Jordan 1s. Y'all seen the story? I did the trade for the shoe. I got these in my collection way back, like uh, within the first year when they came out, before prices became insane. And uh, art piece, bro. This is literally an art piece. My pair is in amazing condition. I'm so happy about these. And... I mean, the shoe speaks for itself. I don't think I need to say too much when it comes to these. But one thing I do need to say is, we didn't even get to go through the kids' shoes yet. I just thought about that. 
We got, I got a bunch of kids shoes. Let me run through those real quick for you guys. Um, UNC to Chicago, the leather on this shoe is so crazy. Check this that out. This is crazy. Raw this right here is Look dope. at the leather. I had to buy yeah. like the small two size too, cause it's yeah. just so, yeah. it just looks so dope. Like it's crazy. It's almost look like it shouldn't even be worn, right? Right. All right, so this is- Well, I guess they ain't gonna be walking in them. OG cut. This is bananas OG right here. cut, 85. <laughs> That's fire. So That's I got bananas. these, All-Star Weekend, I grabbed these. I grabbed the adult pair and I got the, the baby pair, cause I just, that just, those are crazy. These is crazy. Those are crazy. They're nice and soft, dude. Yeah, the leather's crazy. Lost and Found ones. I got the Chicago Lost and Founds. This shoe's fire. <laughs> that shoe's fire. <laughs> Baby collection crazy. crazy. This is a bread one, like the one you got. Yeah. But look, this is a sample. Nobody got these. I didn't got offered racks for these. Really? Yes. I gotta open it. Yeah. Let me open it. I didn't got offered racks. The shoes fire. Oh. So crazy. I've had these. <laughs> the crazy thing is, I've had these since like I don't even know. 20. 10, 2011, something like that. It's been a long time. 2012. I don't remember. It's been more than. It's been 10 years. It's been. Wow. I've had those for a long time. Wow. UNC. I had to get the OG. Crib bottom right here. Soft bottom. Yeah. UNC one. And then I got the Lost and Founds again in the soft bottom. This is a different cut. I was like, it makes sense. Got to do oh, it. Oh, you got to go in stages. So I had, yeah, I had to get those. And then I saw the patent breads. The patent breads. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my God. This is crazy. This is crazy. And then I'm like, shadows? When those came out, I was like, bro, how do you pass on the shadows? That's just a classic, bro. Yo, hey, yo, baby collection is better than most people's <laughs> collection. Hey, I'm just a collector. Heritage ones. Okay, now I didn't really like the adults pair, but I thought the kids pair was crazy. Oh, that's hitting These right are there. crazy. That's hitting. Hold I on. I saw these. I was like, bro, I need it. Those are fire. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those are. Those are <laughs> stepping out. Those are clean. All right, last one. Oh, the taxi. Ah, oh, man. I got my pair and I was like, also, I need this. Pair. So neat, uh, these are so clean. Go so Steelers. Hitting with the baby. Go Steelers. <laughs> Go Steelers. Man. <laughs> It's a trip that they can make a shoe these small. Nah, for real. It don't even look like it should be worn, right? It's just right. like, and it's like. This is like a little trophy. Right. <laughs> it's just dope. They're so dope. So, okay, how many pairs was that? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pair, 10 uh, pairs. Yeah. Okay, so I got 10 baby shoes and eight 85 adult shoes. So that's like 95 pairs. Solid. Solid. Okay. Yeah hitting that's all it all right now uh, let's get back to the video so that was my entire air jordan one collection over 85 pairs of air jordan ones i feel like at this point i have to get to 100 in 2024 i feel like every year i kind of downsize and i keep kind of morphing the collection a little bit getting it to where i want it to be trading some stuff getting rid of some stuff doubling up on the right things getting the things that i want because that's what happens when you collect over the years you you kind of slowly things change your mood change the things that you like different stuff but i feel like this year on a collector's goal i think i should go for 100 pairs i remember when this video first started like some years ago i had like I don't know like 40 or 50 pairs and i've had more and then i had dwindled it down to that and then then i slowly been building it up over the years you could easily go buy 20 pairs of jordan ones like so fast there's just so many colorways there's so many different options and there's a lot of shoes that i don't have yet that i've never had or shoes that i want to get back in my collection so i think this is the year that i'm going to go after some shoes that i want to get back and then some shoes that uh i never had before like the fragment air jordan one for some reason that one's eluded me i just didn't want to pay the price it didn't make sense but i think this year i'm gonna make the effort to go get that sneaker are you ready yeah what are we doing now <laughs> <laughs> i picked up eight well i have 85 pairs of jordan ones in my collection last year i had like 72 or something like that uh -huh. so it's increased but i've gotten rid of some stuff but i've gotten some new stuff so i need you to pick out the top five 
your top five favorites out of my Jordan ones. So there's shoes over here, there's shoes down here, there's shoes over there, there's some over here. You gotta figure it out. There's some, some Jordan ones like here, here, up here, and then over there, and then mainly on this wall. So what you rocking with? I gotta make this pretty quick so I don't bore y'all to death. But uh, but that's gonna be, oh my God. <laughs> you know what? I gotta do five? Yeah, your five changes every year. This is- I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So I gotta do five. But you know what though? This, can this shoe be in there? Yeah. I really like this shoe. I really like this. We gotta do this one in there. The recent pickup, okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Um, God, this this ain't a Jordan one. Yeah, that's a Travis Fent Black Phantom. Oh, this gotta that's be the in one it. you liked, remember? Yeah, yeah, we well, just gotta be in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really like that shoe. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my God, the black and yellows, I got those. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of options, don't forget you got PEs behind you too. I know, I know. <sighs> So we got I know ones these, here, I ones know. here, ones there. See like these right here. Oklahoma. Oh, nah, I think I'll go right here first. UNC. Yeah. <laughs> That's clean. <laughs> <laughs> this right here for sure. Okay. For right. sure. Okay, okay. For sure. A little different switch up this year, huh? Yeah. We gonna go, yeah, for sure. There's stuff over here. Yeah. There's some stuff in these boxes, stuff down there. Yeah. You know what? This is gonna be a wild one right here. The golf shoe. <laughs> you like this? Clean. It's a very nice shoe. And you for can wear this and not have to go play golf. Oh, you about to be in the streets with you it. You can be in the streets with this. Yeah. Okay. All they right. should do this right here more often. Yeah. That should be done more often. That looks good. Yeah. Okay. One shoe. Okay. One more shoe. I got one more. Oh my God. Do you understand what's in here? Those is. Oh. Okay. This is from newer ones. This is. That's your fifth one. Wow. Uh, like, oh, I, I think don't know. every shoe on this list was not on your list last year. No. No. I got a whole new list this year. I got a whole new list this year. You sure you don't want these? Oh, definitely. This is garbage. <laughs> you don't want those? No. They haven't grown on you yet. No. These. No. <laughs> All right, we'll put them back. We'll put them back. Okay. Okay. No. All right. All right. No. Oh wait. 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 Let me see. I'm just looking real quick. So this is a prototype zoom sample. <laughs> I'm just looking. Nobody else quick. got these. This is crazy. The thing is all black. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to put this on there. Really? For my fifth. Remember, I'm simple. I do simple shoes. Okay. All right. Let's hold up the top five. These are simple. <clears throat> Look let's at this. Hold it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> all right. So these are your top five sneakers from my Jordan 1 collection this year. Yeah, for this year, yeah. So we're going with the Zoom prototype sample right here. Yeah. We got the Eastside Golf Air Jordan 1. You got the Black Cement 1 Low. Yes. Travis Scott Black Phantom UNC Air Jordan 1 PD. I think these are all great pickups right here. I like you. This is winning. Winning right here. Wow. Honestly, I'm very surprised by this top five. <laughs> All right, tell everybody to subscribe so we can get out of here. Subscribe to DJ's channel and mine too. <laughs> all right, we are. All right. But let me know what you guys think about all these shoes down below in the comment section. Again, I would love to hear your top sneakers in your collection when it comes to your Jordan 1s or how many pairs of Jordan 1s you have in your collection and your goals for where you plan on taking your collection. It's so fun making this video every single year. And again, I'll have everything linked down below in the description when it comes to the previous videos that I made in the past when it comes to my Jordan 1 collection or the reviews for all these shoes that I have listed that I have created. I still need to make some more reviews, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you as always. I'll see you in another one. And what shoe should I do next? What model? The threes, the fours, the twos, the ones, the sixes. We did the ones already, the elevens. I got a lot of different models. Which one do you guys wanna see next? Let me know down below. All right, I'm out.
I would never let you down, it's in my DNA hey, The hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the 